Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how to download IW4X or modded Modern Warfare 2. I've been having a ton of fun on the game, and I know I've had some issues in the past with trying to download it and stuff like that. So I thought I'd give you guys a little in-depth tutorial on how to download it step by step. That way there is no confusion, no mistakes, and you can get in and start playing. Now, first things first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open your browser and just search x labs you can either do this or i'll have a link down in the description that takes you directly to the website that you need to be at but if you just search x labs it'll be the first link that pops up right here and from here the first thing you want to do is you want to download this x labs launcher you're just going to click where it says x labs launcher click download and then click save when it pops up your files or however your computer does it i'm not going to because i already have this downloaded and there's no sense in me having two of them after you get done downloading that, you just want to navigate your way back to this screen right here, which is just the home screen for the X-Labs website. If you guys are curious what IW6X and S1X are, IW6X is basically a modded client for Call of Duty Ghosts, and S1X is just a modded client for Advanced Warfare. So if you guys are interested in getting those games, you're more than welcome to. Just follow this tutorial and it will tell you exactly how to download both of these games because each one of these download the exact same way. What you're gonna wanna do next is click on IW4X right here. It'll take you to this screen. You can either just scroll down or you can just click download IW4X plus full game, which will take you right down here anyways. But first things first, you're gonna wanna download this Qubit Torrent. You're gonna click on this and click Windows X64. That's only if your computer or your operating system is a 64-bit operating system. If it is not, just click on Qubit Torrent Windows. I have a 64-bit operating system, so I click X64. If you go into the settings for your computer, click on System, and down at the bottom, it should say About. It'll tell you right here on System Type, 64-bit operating system, x 64 base processor. But you'll just download whichever one of these that you need to download, click on it, It'll bring up this screen again. I'm not gonna click save because I already have it, but you'll just click save and then wait for that to download. Once that's done, you're gonna wanna come back to the IW4X website and then click on full game torrent. This is basically going to download a torrent of this game. Once it gets done downloading up in the top right like this, it should say IW4X full game dot torrent. Mine says two because I have multiple files of this because I already tried to record this once and it didn't work because my mic was messed up. You're just gonna want to double click onto this and it'll open this little screen right here in your Qubit Torrent. Now right here, it's gonna want you to save it at just a random file location or whatever. What I like to do or what you should do is my stuff is saved in my D drive. Wherever you wanna save it is completely up to you. But wherever you're going to save it, I highly recommend making a games folder. Once you have that games folder, go in here and just select the games folder. And it should say, in my case, it'll be D slash games because it's in my D drive. A lot of people will tell you to go to content layout and click don't create subfolder, which I don't like doing that because then at that point, all of these files right here that you are seeing on the right, all seven of these files are just going to go into the games folder instead of being in their own separate folder. So what I like to do is just keep it on original, that way it'll create its own folder, that way I don't have to go through the trouble of making a folder for it. But after that, you're just gonna wanna click OK, which again, I'm not going to do because I already have the game installed, but you're just gonna wanna click OK and wait for the game to download. I think the game is somewhere around 11 gigabytes, so it will take a little bit of time to download depending on your internet speeds. But once you do have that done, you're gonna wanna go into your X Labs launcher. As you can tell, all the games are right here, S1X, IW6X, and IW4X, but what you're going to want to do is click on this little cog wheel down here in the bottom left. You're going to click on that where it says Modern Warfare 2 installation. You're going to click browse and then navigate your way to your games folder. Once you do that, you're going to click into IW4X full game and then select folder. Then you will have it set up where if you go over here and click on multiplayer, it's going to launch your game. Now, once you get into the game, you're going to want to go into your options and mess with your resolution, your FOV your maximum FPS, even go into your advanced settings and make sure all of this is set to where you want it to be. If you want to copy my settings, you are more than welcome to. Now, if you want to use a controller, if you're using anything other than an Xbox controller, you're going to need to download DS4 Windows. I'll have a download link down in the description for that as well. If you guys want me to do a controller setup tutorial as well for people that have PlayStation controllers, it is a bit different for PS5 controllers, at least to be able to set it up and have everything work the way it needs to. Before you do use a controller, you're going to want to make sure that your gamepad is enabled and you have everything in here set to where it needs to be to be able to actually work properly. 
But if I do go into my camos, as you guys can see right here, I do have custom camos. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to make custom camos or just make a pack for you guys to download and insert into your game, I could also make a tutorial on how to just import custom stuff into your game. Because I also, if I go to call sign and kill streaks, I also do have custom titles and emblems. So if you guys want a tutorial on how to make those or a tutorial on how to install those, you guys are more than welcome to drop a comment and let me know, and I'll try to get that video done as soon as possible. But to be able to join a game after you have all your settings in order, all that kind of good stuff, after you already have your classes made, you can just click right here on join game. Mine's set to favorites because I normally only play in the ARZ servers, which if you guys want to download the mods ahead of time for these servers so you can just immediately hop in and play, I'll have a link down in the description to the Google Drive where you can download the mods and everything for these servers. But once you click join game or join server, it's going to immediately hop you into this screen. As you can tell, there is a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of servers here. Now, like I said, I haven't really played in any of these servers other than the ARZ servers. So I don't know which ones are good, which ones aren't good. But honestly, in my opinion, I recommend just favoriting the ARZ servers and going into those. They have 30 or 40 custom snipers from every Call of Duty. They even have the scavenger from BO1 Call of the Dead Zombies. And they also have the halo sniper in there as well so if you guys want to try those guns out you're more than welcome to hop in the arz servers up on screen right now there should be some text basically giving you commands that you can put in that will help your hit detection because this game isn't the best with hit detection just because there's so many mods going on and everything so the hit detection can be a little bit iffy at times but basically what you're going to want to do the little tilde key it should be like a little squiggly line you're basically just going to click that and it'll open up this thing up in the top of your screen you can type those commands that are on screen into this and it'll change those values and give you a little bit better hit detection you can also change your name as you can see mine is purple if you want any kind of colored name but if you want any kind of colored name as you guys can see up here in the top i do have every single color laid out here for the red, you're going to want to do the little up arrow or shift six and then click one and then type the letters that you want or just the letter. You can actually have this color name in game. You can have every color in game. But for the green, you're going to want to do uh, shift six, two for the yellow shift six, three for the darker blue shift six, four for the lighter blue shift six, five and for the purple shift six, six. Now, as you guys can tell right here, if I do shift six, and then do seven that creates a white and then if i do shift six eight it's a it's it's black so eight nine and zero on your keyboard are going to create black letters and then seven is going to create a white letter and then i just went through what the other ones are going to be you can also create a custom title as well if you do slash custom title space and then type whatever you want you can also have this be colored most of the time i normally put my twitter at in my title so most of the time i will do shift six and then five that way it's a kind of twitter color blue like a cyan and then do at z masons so if you guys want to follow me on twitter you're more than welcome to but that's what i'll do and if you come over here to my titles and emblems it's right there in my title but that is going to do it for today's video i do appreciate you guys for watching the video i hope it was informative for you guys and helped you guys kind of get everything situated with your game like i said earlier i know i used to have issues trying to download these games and stuff like that so hopefully this kind of helps you and walks you through step by step on how to download everything and hopefully everything works for you guys if you guys want to join my discord it's in down in the description if you have any issues you're more than welcome to hop in there and ask me about anything and I can try to help you out with it. But before we do hop out of here, I do want to mention my Twitch one more time. Like I said earlier, we're live every single night, 7 p.m. CST. So if you guys want to come show some love, drop a follow, that'd be greatly appreciated as we are on the road to 550 followers. But if you guys have any different tutorials that you want me to show you or anything like that, you guys are more than welcome to let me know down in the comments. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.